Well, after lashing the state of Florida, the monster hurricane, as has been described by Donald Trump, has weakened to a Category 1 tropical storm, but will keep causing misery. The storm is now crawling north towards Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi and Tennessee. The Hurricane Irma had engulfed almost all of Florida. It had flooded streets, spawned tornadoes, knocked out power to millions of people across the state and also snapped massive construction cranes over the Miami skyline. Now the maximum damage was sustained, the maximum sustained winds of the hurricane are now said to be about 65 miles per hour. And also aerial footage over Orlando shows the kind of devastation that Irma has caused. Roofs of mobile homes have been ripped apart, leaving more than half a million people vulnerable to serious damage. Now, entire Orlando is believed to be submerged. Trees have been uprooted. House furniture is seen lying on the streets. And a complete scene of devastation. The hurricane has caused an estimated damage of about 25 to 30 billion dollars, affecting businesses and has also affected millions of lives. And also after Hurricane Irma barreled into the state of Florida Keys, there was a trail of devastation like damaged highways, boats on side roads and wrecked homes which could be seen. Now, most of the Baha'i Honda Key had no fuel, no electricity, no running water and no cell service. Now, the White House has said that due to the possible damage to bridges, it may actually take weeks before many residents are actually able to return back to Florida Keys. The keys are going to take a while. We have not assessed the structural integrity of the bridges there. There's some early reason to believe that some of the drawbridges that were up may or may not have been bent. And so res restoring those is gonna take some time. Uh, that Route 1 is a large, expansive bridge, essentially. Uh, all of the undergirding there has to be examined for structural integrity. I would expect that the keys are not fit for re-entry for regular citizenry for weeks. The residents of Miami's Trinidad trailer park began arriving, making their way through the flooded streets. People also began removing debris and repairing their homes. While for some, everything had been lost due to Hurricane Irma. Nearly all homes had sustained some form of damage or other, with some being completely destroyed. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, from inside, can you see out? Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 